What is best in life? Today we join Sultan Alandin, Alandin Jaws, the Sultan of uh, Moose Jaws, uh, on his quest to restore the Zoroastrians as the principal religion of Persia and to become the Soyoshant of the religion, uh, one of the three great saviors of the religion. Last episode we hit a snag where the Manichaean heresy of Zoroastrianism uh, became the dominant faith of Zoroastrianism and therefore for some reason the Jaws family en masse uh, were, trans were transposed over to the Manichaean heresy and lost their Zoroastrian faith or at, last, or at least lost the pure form of it. Now I still can become the Seoshant as a Manichaean however I would prefer and it is my stated goal to become the unadulterated Zoroastrian faith, and therefore I have tried to appoint Zoroastrians as uh, noblemen. However, that may be uh, quite the hill to climb in the future. Uh, on top of that, I started a battle with a Sultanate up here, which I thought was feudal, but instead has many tribal holdings, so I found out that their army uh, swelled to 4,000, even though the uh, indicator for the Sultan indicated that he could only raise about a thousand troops. Instead he came out came at me with an army of four thousand. I hired mercenaries, but before I could combine my own host and the mercenary host, they were both defeated and are now running in a shattered retreat, as you can see in this direction and the host here. On top of that I made a blunder where I accidentally tried to arrest one of my sheets, even though he's my heir. I had no intention of trying to arrest him, but I accidentally hit the arrest button and he came in rebellion so I have a rebellion going on in the west as well as the battle with the uh, Sultan up here for territory the only good thing I accomplished last turn is I did get a salt I did get a good Zoroastrian in the uh, Baram of Bodhi uh, no he's turned into a Manichaean, a Manichaean heretic as well so I didn't even accomplish that uh, the holy site is held by a member of the Zoroastrian faith, but is a vassal of another religion. So, my vassal, Herod. Oh, no, he's, yeah, he's a Manichaean heretic. So the moral authority is um, 39%. And uh, I think we may have to be going with the Manichaean heresy, but we'll get the clock started again. And I have other things to accomplish too. For one, I have a, ch a child who lacks focus. My daughter, uh, she has the learning plus one stewardship. And what trait? She has the trait of proud. So we'll try to get her uh, focus of stewardship, I suppose. And get her educated. Sign a guardian, high in stewardship. Uh, there we go. Let's see, to the strong poet Alandon, your wisdom and mercy, and mercy are legendary. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against the Caliph. No, I will not go to war with the, ca with the Caliph yet. Um, so that's one child taken care of. I also have to impregnate Spawn of Ariman, but I'm trying, so I need to... My brother in darkness, Captain Admir the Unready, who was passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. He was in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy in honor of Ariman. What a lovely idea. I'll wear my special shoes. And I need to make someone a small, a, seduce a woman of pregnancy age uh, to becoming a follower of Loose Bones. My memories of the last few days are dreamlike. There were lots of smoke, a crackling old crone, and a nubile young woman with a long tail that could do all kinds of things. Yes, I do wish I had a tail on some occasions. Oh, and there was a loud midget ordering me and Admir into various interesting positions. I never realized I liked men that way. Oh, no. Beth, but most of all, my compliments to the chef. I gain a hundred dark power and the traits of homosexual and cannibal and one of my courtiers dies. Well, that's excellent. My martial skill goes up. Same trade opinion, plus 25. Personal opinion goes down. And my homosexual attraction goes up. Vassal opinion, negative 5. Well, everybody has to 
do some things in this life. We've got to experiment a little bit. Um, so now let's get these armies back together. And what's this message about assigned guardian? I have become deceitful through my uh, worship of Aruman. The guardian of little princess Roxana, the Jaws Shandam, so she can raise as a proper Bedouin Sumi. I'll decline, I don't want to raise as a Bedouin Sumi. And I will uniform, unify these armies and then attack the Sheik. Oh, this is really uh, going uh, quite on. And I need to dispose of a title and the gentleman. Where is Babak? Is that Kurdistan? That's Duhok. Um, I'll torture another prisoner. And now I need to find a woman still for a concubine. I need to find a suitable concubine, my religion group. Um, diplomatic range, yes, but it's in the realm, so I assume they're all going to be in diplomatic range. So here's a strong, but she's 14, so I need an adult. Save filter slot zero for my concubines. She's uh, actually the princess of Moose Jaws. 45 and strong. 55. Where did I get defeated? And I will lay low trying to and I will unify these armies. I don't understand why I can't unify these two armies. There we go. Now I will take on the rebellious shake. Marshal Mayor Sadra of Chalus has put forward a plan for experimentation with new military technology. Uh, sounds good to me. And I should see if uh, my technology, if my legalism is going. I need legalism three. I have 482 of 599 uh, points. And my construction two to try to increase the construction possibilities. For Gurgan and the not there. Where's this is Gurgan, isn't it? Yes. My hospital. I'll build a sick house and the trade post. Retinue size plus a hundred. I could do that. And then Kazwin. The trade post are all. I need trade practices level two or greater. Trade practices level two. It is level two, but perhaps not there. They need to spread further. All right, so to breeze, I'll just siege them down. My dalliance with Kenan Bahar has resulted in a child. Fortunately, Khan Kabar thinks little Kadara is his, my cousin. Uh, oops, there was one piety. And this is the Sheik Elg. Oh, I didn't, I wanted Sheik Elg to be on my side. So I get some sieging down Sheik Elg. Screaming arrows. I've received a report on the outcome of the military experiments. My marshal asked me to sponsor. Apparently a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried out based on Far Eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and then exploding on impact, killing several of the livestock used as practice targets. Though of dubious accuracy and prone to failure in rainy weather, these experiments have still provided some valuable lessons. So I gained 50 military technology points. And... So now, not that I want to be, but I'm sieging down my own uh, Shah. Rumors of that people are conspiring to kill me. Now, how is my 
spy master. Can I get a better spy master? I could get my wife, but she hates me, and a landing of Jaws has a negative opinion of me too. Ambitious, negative 25. Cannibal, negative 25. Oh my god, my whole council hates me. Uh, who is my heir? It looks like Sheik Elg is my heir. I may not be long for this world with this many people hating me, uh, despite the fact that I'm actually getting something done. But I will try... Who will I get as some... I'll just go for stats. Ambitious, there we go. I will try to... Uh, I'll attempt to abduct her and get her Gazel and attempt to get her as a concubine. She's 56. Greedy. I guess married. No. I only have 25% war score against him. Can I offer a white piece? Would he take that? He won't take a white piece. I don't even want to arrest you. I just want to bring you back into the hold, hold, or fold. negative 84 abducted abductor homosexual proud cannibal yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get another child out of her but at least i tried and my war score has gone up to 61 percent now i will go back and try to siege down another holding Now will he take a white piece? Yes, he will. There we go. White piece. Sorry. The revolt against the rule of salt in the land of the cruel has ended. White piece. Your low character is the subject of Greek, Greek plays. A merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of my stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Very well. I'll let them in. Have there are rumors someone's trying to kill my daughter. Who is it? Now let's get back over and get to the original war. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fair by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. All right, now dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you as a gift. This eunuch will serve you well. The merchant says he, his loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. He'll be my the only person who likes me. Uh, very well, I accept your kind gift. And actually, I will give a eunuch to... I will uh, send a concubine. No, I won't send my own uh, daughter. Um, can I not send a eunuch? Oh, he doesn't have a trait high enough. He's a duelist. He's a eunuch. Desert expert. Oh, he's got a high martial skill, but not quite high enough, so I can't offer him to the Emperor. Um, send an artifact. <sighs> No, I won't send my artifacts away. 
the werewolf you've been nervous for the last couple of nights sleeping restless feeling a strong pull on your mind during these days you've been tired but also tense with anticipation sensing something important arriving now at night as you wake and see the full moon rise you fully understand it's the moon it speaks to you it's time to rise time to become the wolf time to go out time to be free time to lose your mind to the moon madness i gain werewolf keeping the follow effects diplomacy negative two combat negative one i run through the night until i reach the highest hill in sight you spend hours and hours howling at the moon exulting in the light and in your madness oh you wake in the morning feeling as, as if you hadn't slept at all your muscles ache and your throat is sore as you try to speak you realize you are quite hoarse how could that be you don't remember strange my diplomacy is going into the dumper and how is my I have one concubine who hates me is it time to get another I'll oh, get my dynasty married off the 26 year old my sister uh, I'll get him married to I don't want a leader of a revolt Chancellor of the Uyghur can I do a matrilineal marriage there's someone with 20 learning let's just see the positive traits there, can I? And her husband, oh, that was the mayor, Shi Zhangju. He's finally died. And I have another cousin. News from China rumors that the military might of the Tang Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, the High Chief has peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. Their courtier, courtier, couriers whisper that they can only hope that the relationship between the High Chief and the Illustrious Emperor will be a faithful one. Now, she is 45, so can I... I can't really... My cousin, Sheikh of Shermja, Jaws Jingjan, he is... Uh, He's Han, unfortunately. Oh gosh, and he's slow. But nevertheless, he's a Jaws. Perhaps I should give, uh, but he's Han. Okay, now I'm in charge. This is against... Uh, let's check the war store. I'm in plus 26 percent. I am controlling Karakum. So if I siege down, songs of anguish. My nights are plagued by terrible nightmares featuring the vile Gualsum, my rival brother in darkness. He howls and roars at me to the tune of the infernal bagpipes. While Zarazi looks on, bellowing with laughter, I am sure Araman is sending me these dreams for a reason. I must prove myself worthy or be discarded as a weakling, such as the way of Lucifer own. I will invite him over for some fun. And I will lay low, trying to keep away. Now I have a claim. As Grossum arrived at our meeting, my servants threw a sack over him and beat the envious infidel into submission. He is now strongly stowed into a brazen bowl that I built especially for this occasion. Surrounding the bowl are some crucified scum from my dungeon, drenched in oil. It took some work to find three genuinely insane musicians, but as they start up their demented tune and the fires are lit underneath the bowl, I lean back and realize it was worth it. As soon as the first bellows start issuing forth from the bowl, I order the human candles lit. I close my eyes and hum along with the infernal choir. My nightmares conquered once and for all. There are pleasures that await us all in hell, and Guaclum uh, awaits in hell. Oh, and he's dead. Good, I killed him. He's not going to come back. Now, Sharazur has 200 troops. Can I declare war? Do I not have a claim? I've raised levies, so I can't declare war. 
Though my last act of worship was some time ago, I can still sense an inhuman touch upon my soul when I think about what I've done. I've become a changed man. I'm possessed. Oh, uh, this poor character. So I only have 80% war score, 84% war score. I need to win this war, drop my troops, and get invading. Uh, this other part of money didn't make me happy, nor did respect. I think I need something else in my life. I lose the trait greedy, which is unfortunate because it's really boosting my uh, skill. Okay, so I have a victory. I now only have 88% war score, plus 39% because I control Karakum. Now, in Gurgan, are there any increases? Oh, I've still... like to increase the levy size 10% and the garrison size. It's a retinue size that I'd really like to increase. But I'll build up the keep. I don't want to be your counselor, thank you. And I don't want to join any plots. Okay, so I conquered all I can conquer in this province. And actually, I'll go for his capital. I have a 98% war score and 100. There we go. Offer peace. All right, so I have, I've got the Sheikdom of Karakum has now joined. Now get my troops into um, home territory so I can disband levies and restart my war again. And yes, I will torture another one of my levies. And I need to impregnate one of my, someone in my court. A woman in my court I have to seduce for the devil. My wife? Can I seduce? I'll recruit her for Satan. I should have done that. Is she still young enough to have children? She's 43. I think she still has two more years where there's at least a possibility. Uh, meeting with Sultana Hamdan, I am sure to only cautiously Ray question the absolute power of the almighty Uhura Mazda. Regretfully, it seems the words only irritated my wife from the steely look she gave me. I should probably steer clear of here from now. Ah, oh, no. There's got to be someone in my court that I can... Um, seduce for... any dynasty of women search the realm. She's 17, deceitful, humble, deceitful. And I will lay low. I'm noticing all these people are hating me. Invite to plot. A recruiter for Satan, just because she's some random woman that I... Oh, she's too old anyway. steer clear of her. I wasn't able to recruit her. Does no one... Let's see here. I fulfilled the ambition to groom an heir. How have I done that? Uh, my son, Sheikh of Tabaristan, Prince of Moose Jaws, heir of the Mosque of Amul. Uh, bad news from Alamut, his efforts to root out heresy or problematic. Here's a 17-year-old strong woman, my cousin, take concubine. There we go, I've got another concubine. Does she like me? No, but I'll give her some cash. Um, send gift. So she barely likes me. Now I will try to recruit her for Satan. Betrothed can marry. Sounds good. I need to pick an ambition. I don't want to become a chancellor, so I'll leave that blank. 
uh, meeting with Farah, I couldn't even get my own concubine to join me with Satan. So they got married. I will dismiss my military levies. And my balance is negative 10. Now I have a claim on Sherazur. He's going to be able to raise nuclear war. Claim Sherazur. Lethal Nightmares, my beloved daughter Parvin is dead. She was found lifeless in her bed. The physicians can find nothing wrong with the body. It's as if she died of a terrible nightmare. Gemaliya, the demon child, again, is also laughing. As always, when something terrible happens, she seems inordinately happened. The blessed child of Iron Man is playful. I can't kill off my own family members faster than I'm making them, which seems to be what's going on in this game. Young Golapri has finished her education in diplomacy. Uh, she's in jail, though. Why is she in jail? Republic. Opinion of me, negative 44. Uh, she's a Zoroastrian Persian. I'll take her as a concubine. And I'll torture someone in the... Having refused to give up my title to Caliph Hazam II, I am now forced to raise the banner of rebellion. All right. Wow. Okay. And I'm losing cash. I didn't even notice that. Betrothed can marry. Now, how many troops? Caliph. He can raise 10,000. What title did I refuse, I wonder? And I'm not going to be able to hire 10,000 mercenaries. Three hundred, three hundred. that's 600. I only have 800, so I'll only be able to hire the mercenaries for a short time. So another uh, faith has grown and uh, overtaken its father faith. Open council position, steward. Troops. I lost 854, and he only lost 958, even though I had a pretty distinct advantage on him. I think I am out of luck with this war. Well, that comes to the end of this uh, episode. Uh, because I was a member of Satan's Own, I kept getting negative traits, becoming a cannibal, a homosexual, and universally reviled. And I don't know how I can uh, wood myself over to the Caliphs. I have a positive 24% war score. Can I offer white peace? Well, actually, as a highlight of this episode, I will offer white peace and see if it's accepted. 
and that can be and the war against the tyranny has ended white peace so i am barely out of the fire and we'll end the episode there with that uh, pyrrhic victory or actually it's not a pyrrhic victory i snatched victory from the jaws of defeat and am no longer at war with my caliph uh, if you enjoyed that episode, uh, please consider uh, hitting the follow button and following me on Facebook and hitting the little bell so you get notification of my other videos. I hope you enjoyed the episode and have a good day.